My name is uh, Ruben Dario Parra. I am uh, at DePaul University. I work as a professor in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. At DePaul, uh, I find that the mission, the Vincentian mission, on the one hand, resonates very strongly with my own background, my personal background. Uh, I am originally from Colombia, from Cali, Colombia. Uh, raised just by my single mom, uh, who raised me and my siblings, coming from a very poor environment. And she was very able to get to me those opportunities that I needed, I and my siblings needed to succeed in life. Uh, so when I come here to DePaul, I find that DePaul is a place that is hosting a lot of opportunities for many people. So that's one way I see the mission of DePaul as a center of opportunities for those who care to take advantage of those opportunities to enhance or improve upon themselves. But DePaul values, uh, at least the more salient values that I, I can, I, I, I keep in my head every day is all about responding to this question, you know, what must be done? In other words, identifying what seems to be an issue, a barrier, an obstacle for individuals to advance themselves. So we're in the poll values. We don't care what your background is, what your orientation, sexual orientation, what you, your gender is, that is irrelevant because we are all God's creature, right? We, we come from God, the God-given dignity is, is a common factor, I think, when we look at any individual. With that in mind then, what we like to make sure is that we constantly see ourselves as in progress like always with the potential of being better. That being said, however, not all individuals encounter a surrounding or an environment that is appropriate for that development. So that's one of the things that I notice in the Paul's values, right? Like we embrace the poor because we know of their potential and we know of their potential because we believe in God and in the God-given dignity of each individual. It is not up to us to be judging people because of their background or their color or whatever, right? That's not what we are here for. We are here to advance people in the direction of God or the goodness, you know? And that's another thing that I found particularly interesting about the Paul's values and is that just because we say we're Catholic, and that we are guided by our Catholic identity, doesn't mean you have to be Catholic or you have to be Christian to follow in those ideas. Here you find Jews, you have Muslims, you have all kind of, even people who don't believe in God, and they are doing great job in terms of helping people advance or, or, or being better. I noticed one student, and that was like a year or two years ago, African-American student. The first exam he did poorly. So I talked to him, you know, what's going on? And then he was shy. So I keep reaching out to him with the email, with nice supportive messages and so on, celebrating whatever small wins he was making in the course until he eventually came to me and said, Dr. Parra, I have to confess something to you. Given my background, uh, I have been always felt like, uh, what is this, discriminated against because of my color, uh, invalidated all the efforts I make, uh, or if I am in this university, I, I've been told that, oh, you probably got a scholarship because you are black, those kind of things. So. When you ask us to come to your office hours, I personally decided not to go because I don't want the white students seeing me in your office hours 
because I think they will say, oh, you see, you need help. That, you know, this is the, that's what we expect of you because you're an African-American, you, you're here because some, somehow this Vincentian tradition give you a chance that you should not have because you really don't have the, you know, what is required. What? You say, what is this? Uh, but then thanks to you and your constant emails and the support and, and the celebrations of the small things I was able to accomplish, I decided to start showing up for office hours. He told me this after the class was over. So he came from, I guess, 30% in the first exam and eventually managed to pass the class at the end of the, of the quarter, right? And it was only then when he came to me and pretty much said that to me, if it were not because of your constant messaging of this being a Vincentian institution that embraced the poor, that welcomed the most diverse uh, population of the students, and because I saw that that was genuine. It was not like you are making things up or looking nice. So you get good students evaluations or whatever. It was very genuine. To me, that was very illuminating to see that there was a real effect of the little things that I do, but I do many of those little things. And it has an impact on this student. The problem with the notion that, oh, we just create the situation for you to succeed or the opportunities for you to succeed, and they are there. That is doing good, but not doing it well, as Vincent says. Why not? Because some people, despite the fact that they have those opportunities, may not be able to take advantage of those opportunities because they need this extra push. We need to nurture their their ability to believe in themselves so that they take advantage of the opportunities.